I've always said that design is the marriage of art and science. And when I think about digital printing, it's exactly the same thing. It really is the artistic side of it, which is the fidelity of the imagery and how do we achieve that, and really using science to help you reach it. Well, we were asked to create a digital swatch book for uh, International Paper, which is the first time they're showing all their digital papers together. And then on top of that, too, we also had to create something that would engage the designers, but then also be used as a resource tool for printers. Well, the concept is uh, set your ideas free. Anything you can dream of, we can make, and you can visualize, and you can print. So we started with the idea of a designer's sort of imagination just taking off, and a designer sort of dreaming about possibilities and those dreams coming true. Since this whole piece was a celebration of digital technologies such as the printing, the presses, and the paper itself, when International Paper came to us, they already had the idea of using CGI, or computer-generated imagery. Which really enables us to push the limits of what you can do creatively. So we were obsessed with paper. Our CGI guys were so obsessed. I mean, they were folding paper, we were making all kinds of models, all these things to really know, see how paper reacts, and then you bring that into the CGI. And then we start looking at the patterns that you see within fabric. We layered that with actual paper folds. So what you see is a combination of the way sheets actually fold and the way paper folds. Yeah, the challenge was the, to combine the fantasy of the idea with the reality of actually photographing it in the studio. The auto team really wanted to have a particular type of lighting which is reminiscent of 1920s, 1930s Hollywood. That was the first thing. The second was how do you depict this person in the different scenes um, realistically so when they're cut out and placed into the CGI it seemed natural. You know, there are many concerns when you, when you go from an image that's dark, saturated, with all these beautiful colors, and then you have these light, beautiful skin tones. There's definitely concerns that it's going to reproduce as, you know, we all see it on the screen. You know, the technique that we use to convert the 3D image into a CMYK image that's going to print on paper, an RGB image that's going to print on film, it's a little tricky. In this particular case, you know, maybe we combine the background and we convert it one way, we take the foreground and the images and convert it another way. Now, the trick is, will it convert print that well on this stock? I've got no concern with this stock. I've printed on many, many different stocks, and as far as paper goes, this, this just, it's, it prints so true. But in looking at this project, it's a difficult project because they're very heavy coverage, crossovers from page to page. I mean, you have to make sure everything's balanced and it has to print consistently. Not only does the paper have to be have a consistent finish, the press has to print consistently as well. But I, I didn't have concerns just because I'm very confident in the technology. Yeah, digital papers have evolved with the presses, really. Um, international paper presented recently their super smooth line and that's to me is far and above the best certainly uncoated paper out there. I mean it really holds on to the ink well. As the presses get faster, get better, digital papers keep evolving with the equipment. I, mean, I think designers when they realize they have a whole new palette there that they can experiment with and play around with, there's way more creating going on now that we were ever able to do in the past. Now the product is in print, it's in Doratrans, it's in video, it's completely, you know, uh, full circle. So we actually had a paper artist create multi-dimensional models for us. Now those are being used in the actual exhibit itself for the launch of the swatch book. We were inspired by the physical, we created it all digitally, and then it manifested itself in the physical uh, models that we created based on the CGI imagery. So it's, it's kind of beautiful the way the one influences the other.